In Google Docs, page numbering is not enabled by default. However, in order to add page numbering to our document, it's super simple. So let me scroll down and I just want to show you that here we have no page number. We can just go here at the top, insert, then we can go down to page numbers and we can choose which style we want. So we can have it either in the header or in the footer and then we can skip the first page so to have page number zero on the first page or start counting from the first page. Let's select the option in which we are counting from page one and then later on I will show you how to count from page two which is going to be this option here. So we have just to click there and we can see that page one now is one and then we can go down page two is page two. The first thing that I want to show you is how to move this page number in the footer. So right now we have it on the right but we can click here on central line and we can have it on the center or on the left. These changes will be reflected in all our document. Another very nice thing that we can add is some text. So we can say actually page one instead of just one and then same will be reflected in page two. And finally, the last thing that I want to show you is how to say page one off. And then here we can go in insert, page numbers, page count. This is going to say page one of five. Let me just copy and paste some text in my document. So I'm just going to make it longer. So I'm just copying this placeholder text. And as you can see, automatically my page numbering has been updated. We can see that we have page one of nine because now we have nine pages in our document. As I previously mentioned, we may want not to have page one counted from the first page because we may want to have page one to be our title page. So we can put the cursor here after the title. We can go and insert, page break, and then section break, next page. This is going to move all the text to page number two, aside from the title. So then what we need to do is to click here on the footer, double click, we can say options, page numbers, starts at zero. So now our title page will be page zero. And we can also select a different first page here. And then we can cancel all the text here in the title page. So now in the title page, we have no page numbering, but if I go down to page one, which is the page after the title, we have page one of 10. The final thing that I want to show you is how to restart the page counting. We want to have a new counting from page two. So we can click here in some text in page one. And again, we can do insert, break, next page. If you want to view the section breaks, as you can see here on my screen, this line here, you can go in view and enable show section breaks. So now we have added a section break that we can see here. Okay, so we can go in section two in the footer here, double click. We can say link to previous, no. And then we can say page numbers, start from one, not continuous from previous, and we want to have it in the footer. So we're going to apply. As you can see now in the footer, we have a page numbering that is starting from section three. I know it's getting a bit confusing right now, but we have to summarize the title page with no page numbering. Then on page one, we have page one of 10 because we choose to have a different style. Then on page two or three, depends how you want to see it, we have a new page numbering that has started again from one. I really hope you find this video interesting. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. If you want to support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. More information down in the video description. If you have any suggestion, comments, or if you just want to let me know if you like the video, just please write a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.